So before installing NetBeans IDE, you just need to make sure that Java is installed on your Mac operating system. So you can uh, just uh, open the Spotlight search and then uh, search for uh, Terminal and then open the Terminal. And once the Terminal opens, you can just uh, write uh, Java hyphen hyphen version to verify the version of Java which you have on your Mac operating system. So if you don't have Java installed on your Mac operating system, first uh, install Java on your Mac operating system. Uh, and if you don't know how to install it, I will uh, leave the link in the description so that you can see uh, how you can uh, install Java on your Mac operating system. So once you have Java installed on your Mac operating system, you can open your favorite browser and search for NetBeans. And the first link which will appear here will be from netbeads.org. So I'm going to just click on this link and uh, it's going to open this kind of window. We want to uh, download this IDE. So I'm going to just click on the download button here, which I see here. And then you will be able to see different versions of NetBeans IDE. So at the time of making this video, NetBeans 12 is the latest version. And we are going to download the NetBeans 12 LTS version, which is the long-term support version. Uh, you don't want to uh, just uh, download this feature update version, right? So just select uh, whatever version you want to download. And then if you see LTS version, that's the version you want to download. Then click on the download button. And here you will be able to see the Mac a DMG file. So you can see Apache NetBeans 12 bin Mac OS X DMG. That's the file we want to uh, download. So I'm going to just click on this file, which is going to open this kind of uh, uh, interface. So here I'm going to just uh, click on this uh, link, which is going to start the download of this uh, Apache NetBeans DMG file. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this uh, DMG file and I'm going to minimize uh, the browser. And then you will be able to see Apache NetBeans 12.pkg file. So at this point, you just need to click on uh, this icon here, which is going to start the installation of uh, this Apache NetBeans. So first, uh, it's going to show you this message, which says this package will uh, run a program to determine if the software can be installed. So just click on continue. And then you will be able to see this uh, NetBeans installer. Let me minimize this. And now I can just click on continue. Uh, these are the license terms and conditions for the NetBeans. Uh, if you agree with the license terms and conditions, just click on continue and then click on agree. On the next step, it's going to show you uh, this will take around 723 megabyte space on your computer. So if you are okay with that, you can just uh, click on the install button. Also, you can change the location of the installation if you uh, want to do that. I will leave it as default and then click on install. And then I will provide my max password and then click on install software which is going to start the installation process for the NetBeans IDE. And once the installation process is successful, you will be able to see this message which says the installation was successful, so I can just close this window. So once NetBeans IDE is installed on my uh, Mac operating system, I can just go to the Launchpad icon and then click on this icon. And I can see this Apache NetBeans 12 uh, icon inside my launch pad. So I can just click on this NetBeans IDE icon, which is going to start the NetBeans IDE on my Mac operating system. So once NetBeans IDE starts on my Mac operating system, I can uh, start using this NetBeans IDE. So let's create a new Java project in order to see if uh, everything is working inside our NetBeans IDE. So here I'm going to just click on uh, file option and then click on new project and then select uh, Java with Maven. And then on the right hand side, just select uh, Java application and then click on next and just uh, wait for uh, some seconds. And on the next window, it's uh, saying in order to use this functionality, support for Java SE must be activated. So I'm going to just uh, select all uh, these checkboxes here 
and then I'm going to just uh, click on uh, download and activate and now I can uh, see uh, this window which says uh, welcome to NetBeans IDE plugin installation and I can see uh, these two uh, plugins here click on next and then accept license terms and conditions and then click on install which is going to download and install uh, these two plugins and once uh, all these plugins are installed successfully you will see this message so just click on finish button and now you can see uh, this message which says activating java se and then you will be able to see this next window so here is the name of your project so if you want to change the name you can uh, give any name to your project and then uh, this will be the location where it will be uh, saved so i will leave everything as default because i just want to demonstrate if everything is working fine or not so now i'm going to just click on finish button so once you click on the finish button it's going to create a new java project for you and you will be able to see uh, all these uh, folders uh, inside your java project so here you can see the source packages i have one source package here under source packages which is created by default so i'm going to just right click on this source package and then click on uh, new and i'm going to just click on uh, java class and i'm going to name my class as test here uh, which will be created inside this uh, class uh, and then click on finish so once this test class is created i'm going to uh, create a public uh, static void main method inside this uh, class and then i'm going to just print hello world so i'm so i'm going to just write uh, system dot out dot uh, print line so print ln and then inside the, the parenthesis i'm going to just write hello world here and then i'm going to save my file and in order to uh, build and run my file i can just uh, click on this button to build so build project which is going to build my project and if i see this message which says build success then i can uh, run my project so just click on the run project button and then uh, leave everything as default click on uh, select main class and then it's going to uh, once again run our application and you can see it prints hello world right so this is how you can download and install NetBeans IDE on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.